Ah, oh, what's up, viewers? You know, I was thinking, I didn't really extend my life or my stamina, and I figure I should rectify that just a little bit, because, I mean, it's a peace of mind sort of deal. And as the player, I would like my health to be extended just by a little bit. And so I figured, now would be a good time to show off something I missed. You see, on the way to the first Colossus, you have this tree. And on the tree is a little bit of hidden fruit just if you don't see it you're gonna miss it and I like so I missed it so I'm gonna grab it and then we're gonna get on to the fourth Colossus cuz let's be honest that's what we want to do that's what you want to see and that's what I got it that's what I gotta go get done so I'm just gonna climb up on my horse and then I'm gonna go make it happen now I would cut it because I know that you, the viewers, are probably like, Oh, man, how much of a backtrack was that? But it's like right there. You see, that's the entrance where I'm headed to. A little deceptive, I admit. Probably probably would miss it if you're a dum-dum. Totally not signifying something I did. <laughs> Anyways, not the point. I digress. You go to the entrance. That's where we left off last time. And then you head on to the fourth Colossus, which let me tell you, the fourth Colossus is actually what sold me on the game, sort of. I mean, it was really my first experience going over to my friend's house, showing me like this game that I haven't even seen anything up until that point, you know. Uh, no load times or anything, and that's what my friend was saying. Look at all this. It's immersive. It's expansive. It's great. And you go to the Colossus and it's just so cinematic and you feel intimidated, you know, stuff that I've already really brought up. You don't really need to know. And of course, you know, that opening cinematic to like the Colossus area, it's all supposed to be foreshadowing. It's supposed to give you the layout of what you gotta do. And of course, if you're if you're an idiot such as myself or maybe I'm not an idiot maybe I'm just being too critical on myself I don't even know I probably shouldn't be so hit, like critical on myself it lowers my self-esteem who wants self-esteem everybody everybody wants self-esteem that's why you come here <laughs> or at least that's why I make these videos you know to reinforce some self-esteem Oh, uh, what did I say? Oh, uh, that, that, you weren't supposed to hear it. You know what? Fourth Colossus, everybody. Fourth Colossus. This is totally not me stalling. Totally not. Oh yeah, the fourth Colossus is totally a horse. It's a horse with like, I don't know, insectoid legs. What does that mean? I can't climb up it. I have to trick it. You see, the intro was like to this area was all foreshadowing because you got these little bunker passageways that go underground. So what you gotta do is you gotta lead the Colossus over here. You know, you gotta shine a light in its face, annoy the shit out of it. So it'll like come over, try to step on you, because that, that's what it does, you know, that's what, that's what they all try to do. They're so big that they're like, I'm gonna step on you. Ugh. Anyways, so you gotta trick it. You gotta like go into this little passageway, you know, goes underground, and so you can run on over to the another side. So, you know, it, like, it, it thinks that you're in the same passageway, you know, I'm pretty sure. It's trying to make an avalanche collapse on you so you know you die underground. But that's not the point that I'm trying to portray. What I'm trying to portray is uh, it can still see me. So you know that was total failure. Or was it? Anyways, not what you care about. What you care about is how we get this done. And let me tell you something. There's a, there's a little bit of a problem with all this. You see, I tricked it. It's coming over. It's trying to get towards me. So you know what we gotta do is we gotta sneak around and like get into its blind spot so it cannot see me so it thinks that I'm still in that one little passageway that little open door whatever bunker no one cares no one gives a shit my point is it, it doesn't see me and that's the most important thing 
Also, what you can see is its little tail ladder. And obviously, that's the entry point into getting on top of the Colossus. But of course, how to lower it is another stalling situation. You see, it can't see us. And under normal circumstances, it would position itself so it lowers its whole entire body. Because, you know, it's, it's trying to kill us. Even though Dormin was like, yo, this, this guy, it's it's not a challenge, it's gentle. It's, it's, it does, it's like super docile. Uh, but, you know, this thing, it's not docile. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty much like intent on stomping our lights out. So, I, I guess, I guess it's trying to be somewhat, like, a aggressive? Try to be? I don't know. I don't really have much to say on all the Colossus. They're they're all like docile, but like kind of aggressive. But look, it's it's trying to stomp our lights out. It's trying to stab us with its little dagger feet. And also, it's it's just kind of chilling. Okay, all right, enough stalling. This is what I was trying to aim at. You know, it lowered its body. You climb up on its little tail ladder, because uh, that, that's uh, that's how we do it. We that's how we get access to the butt. But of course, no one cares about the butt. It's not its weak point. All we gotta do is just climb. And of course, you know, focus on your stamina a little bit. Just don't be an idiot. You will fall off and you will have to repeat this whole entire experience over again. Let me tell you, falling off is so painful. It's a walk of shame, in other words. Let me tell you something. Nothing makes you feel more shameful than just that. Of course, you got, you got a little bit of a leeway right here with this little shoulder arm guard whatever's my point is I, I I got a little I got a little bit of a break to recover some stamina that, that's always the most important thing when you when you go and fight these Colossus you know we're not running out of stamina also as you can see we got we got like this little weak point a little bit of a weak point stab it and feel bad about yourself but not too bad because you see we got his glyph and obviously, as we all know, the cliff is the weak part, or weak point. I cannot stop saying weak part. I mean, either way, it's, it's a giant glowing light thing. And as we all know, we gotta stab the giant glowing light thing. It's important. We're trying to wake up our sister girlfriend, who is either our sister or girlfriend. I don't really know. The, the game hasn't really established who she is. She's just... She's just dead. And this horsey man, let me tell you something, he's tried to buck us right off. Grant, I mean, I, I guess I would too if I was in the Colossus' shoes. And it makes a really sorrowful sound when I stab it. <laughs> Am I a jerk? I feel like a jerk. This game makes me feel horrendous about every action I do. But you know what? What, what I gotta do stab it again after I regain some stamina let's be honest that's half the game in a nutshell you know me me stumbling over my words feeling bad about my actions and then of course trying not to fall off by regaining my stamina all of which is either failure or success I mean so far I think I'm doing good I think I'm oh <laughs> I'm feeling very bipolar about everything I'm doing very questionable on one hand, I'm succeeding. On the other hand, I feel very mournful about what I'm doing. This game makes me be renegade, even though I don't want to be renegade. I... I... No! What have I done? Oh, no! I killed the horse! It was gonna be my replacement for my own horse, but of course that would never work out. What have I done? Oh no. 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 It's not the slice up. I gotta run. I gotta go. My sin is gonna catch up with me. It's, it's all- No. No, no, no! And the kick in the balls as my own horse came to witness my own death. Of course. I guess that's my own hypothesis. Every time you get stabbed, you die, and then you're replaced by one of those shadowy figures. But, you know, my own conspiracy theory, uh, whatever. It, you know, I, it's not important. No one gives a shit. My point is, um, I blacked out. It saved.
and uh, I, I feel horrible about what I did. I mean, let's be honest. I, I killed another one of these gentle giants. I don't care that I was trying to passively aggressively kill me. It was just really docile. It was just chilly. Oh boy, everyone! Did I mention the next Colossus is gonna be a massive flying dick? Cause, let me tell you something, not looking forward to it, so you know what that means. Lots of heavy editing in the next part, but that's not the focus of right now. The focus of right now is that we got exploration! What that means is, I don't know, I gotta go to the next Colossus. I happen to know where it is. So all of you tuning in, we uh, we got a pretty much we got a pretty straight shot to it. Well, okay, I take that back. It's not really straightforward. It is this way though, and you know what? Along the way, there are some extensions for both our stamina and our health bar, which is very fortunate. Let's be honest, it's something we've all wanted. I didn't really get a whole lot of that in, in the last in between the last parts, but yeah, we're just heading over this way. Uh, it's, it's not really a whole lot to talk about, to be honest. I mean, these are always the slowest parts of the video. So, you know, I'm just trying to mix it up, trying to stall a little bit until we get to, like, you know, the next extension. Because, let's be honest, everyone wants it. Well, okay. Probably I want it. You guys probably don't care so long as I just have it. Uh, other than that, I mean, really, it's just like, yo, gotta find a lizard. Lizards are always the worst because they move and let me tell you something. It's it's not fun for me I mean sure watching me struggle is probably a little bit insightful well, It's probably a little exciting probably a little hilarious and how much I, I struggle with trying to make this happen um, And I mean it's it's got to be here somewhere. I swear I saw it That's what I saw it you know what? I'm I'm just cut it because let me tell you, this is probably gonna be like a 15 minute part just trying to find it. <laughs> I swear to God, man, this this game, these lizards, they're gonna make me lose my mind. I mean, first off, I wasn't ready to go renegade, but I mean, like if anything else, these lizards. <laughs> I swear to God, when I see this little bastard running around. Gonna be pew right to the heart. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you just chill out right there, boy. Let me just. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take your tail. Uh, thank you for cooperating. Even though it took me like four minutes just to find your lizard ass and like get you to calm down so I could get my health extension and move on with my life. Oh, oh you know, that should probably explain something. So I can calm down just a little bit. These little shrine things, you see, they don't really get marked on your map for just, like, in touching them and finding the lizard. What you gotta do is interact with the little glowing slab thing. Because, you know, saving marks it on the map. Or at the very least, I think interacting with it marks it on the map. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna save. I just want it to, like, be, like, on the map so it's, like, there. Just chilling, little thing on the map. 
Don't have to worry about it. I think we can all be happy with that. Everyone agree? Everyone everyone okay with that? I guess it doesn't matter. It just happened. You gotta live with it. So, all this said, all this lizard nonsense out of the way, you know what would be great? Health. Health extension. Everyone wants a health extension. I want a health extension. I mean, let's be honest. My health, it's kind of lackluster. It could be so much better if you ask me. And also, there's a tree. This tree is ridiculous. Let me tell you something about this tree. Fruit. Fruit everywhere. Look at that. This little tree on the side, it has fruit. Lots and lots of fruit. So, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to take it all. It's mine. It's mine. And it's mine, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to extend this health bar. Oh, man. Our health bar is kind of pathetic, to be honest. I mean, you want you want to talk about what would be ideal? Half the screen. I know, some of you are like, what? Does it get that long? Well, I mean, <laughs> half the screen. Let's, let's be honest. I, I need all the health that I can get. I need more health. Man, you don't know yet. Or maybe you do, maybe you play this game, maybe you understand completely what I'm saying. But my point is, these Colossus, they're at Dossal right now! And yeah, I feel bad! But they don't stay that way forever, in fact, they get pretty gr aggressive. Really, really pretty aggressive. Hey, more fruit. I gotta be honest, I thought I took everything. Normally fruit... Normally these trees don't carry this much fruit. This is pretty bizarre, but you know what? I accept it because, uh, let's be honest, I can use all the fruit that I can carry. The more fruit I get, the more health I get, and the more survivability I have. Let's be honest. We don't want to repeat parts. I mean, less failure is expected. Probably by you, the viewers. And you know, it's, it's my job try to do a good job, you know? I'm doing the LP. I'm supposed to be an expert by default. Or at least that's the idea. But, uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm more of an idiot when it comes to this thing, so I'm, I, I take no responsibility, even though I have to take all the responsibility. No one gives a shit, though, let's be honest. Who's gonna watch my shit? Anyways, not the... I guess, digressing aside, I gotta end the part real quick, because, you know, I've pretty much done everything that I, I said I was gonna do. And, uh, th this episode's pretty much gone on long enough. So, all that said, I'm just gonna get to the entrance of the little ravine over here. Because, I mean, that's what we got. And now, with my uncertainty of what a ravine is, I'm gonna look that up and introduce the next part with that. So, all this said, uh, yeah, this has been part. I will see you guys next time. It's gonna be fantastic. Mm -hmm.